are in Nova Scotia, Canada. And it is so beautiful. What we're doing here is we found a nice pullover. Yeah, very random. Yeah, very random and it's pretty hard to find pullovers in this specific route, uh, which is called Route 105 Canada. But we're gonna eat the friends of coffee, which So it's a croissant that's actually pressed like a panini, so that's fun. Mm -hmm. um, with bacon, egg, and cheese. Awesome. And the other one is a bagel version of the same sandwich. Um, mm -hmm. Because it was so early in the morning, they didn't have their other lunch options, but mm -hmm. um, they definitely do, and they have little desserts cute too that are cute. All right, so we're gonna get some sweet. Okay, hold on. Both of them safe. Um, one's croissant, one's bagel. Oh, cool. They actually cut it in half, which yeah. is nice. So this is what you're gonna see inside, some eggs and some bacon. All right, let's see. So far in Canada, mm. or at least ever since we got to Manitoba, the bread here has been so good. No, the thing is, in this sandwich, nothing is overdone. It's amazing. Yeah. But you don't see anything amazing in your mouth when you eat it. But Mm. We're gonna see a simple experience. Mm. We won't be able to cook it at home, but still it's gonna taste good. What mm -hmm. do you think? The croissant is very buttery. I love mm. that. But you're exactly right. I think sometimes it's any kind of sandwich. Mm -hmm. It's easy to overdo it, like super melt the cheese and the bake has to be like very crunchy or whatever. I think just simply doing a good job goes a mm. long way, especially when you're like traveling. And... Yeah. But yeah, this is nice. I love the bacon though. Next, what we're gonna try out is this. A bagel. A bagel. So it starts with A. No. No. Okay. Just one bagel. One bagel sandwich. Oh wow. Okay. Nice. It's also the same. The difference. I feel like it's the, just the bagel. Then you mm -hmm. have the egg part in it, so you can actually see it. Let me not drop it in my car. But actually, cool. It looks like it's boiled. And then you mm. have two slices of bacon. Nice. Again, simple. Mm hmm. The bagel looks toasted, but I don't know if that's the texture. Even the egg is different than the previous one. So it's yeah. interesting they cook it differently. For the bagel? Yeah. The bagel is different, the egg is different, and the bacon is still the same. Yeah, and actually the bagel sandwich here has both cheddar and Swiss cheese. Two oh, different oh. cheeses. That's fun. Uh-huh. I didn't know that. But what's really cute about the shop is that um, the wife makes all the coffees, and then it was the husband who made the sandwiches. So, so cute. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Good wrap. It's a very different experience. It is good. Yeah. The bagel sandwich is like actually quite fluffier than I imagined. Mm -hmm. and the bread is still soft but toasted, just barely lightly toasted on the top, which is nice because again, mm. if sandwiches are too hard, they're like hard to eat and then it hurts mm. the roof of my mouth. So next we're gonna head into Moncton. Something. M-O-N-C-T-O-N. We are in Nova Scotia, and I don't know if you can tell by the colors here, but we are at a Jamaican shop, specifically Portlanders Jamaican chicken. And so we are gonna have some classic jerk chicken soon and even some fish and chips just to try. And so something that's really cool is they actually have a grapefruit soda um, coming in from Jamaica. Um, I've never had grapefruit soda any, and so Try it. Oh, that's so new and interesting. It's almost like it's less sweet than Sprite, but it's still very fruity. Um, it's really great. I enjoyed it. We are starting off with the Jamaican jerk chicken. And as you can see here, here's the chicken. Such a big piece. And then this is a coconut curry sauce, um, which just looks really delicious and delightful. And then of course you got some white rice here hanging out on the bottom to absorb all this goodness. And what we just learned is everything's cooked by um, a mom who is from Jamaica herself. So everything is like homey made, um, which is just gonna be so, so much better. Oh, I don't know if I mentioned this, but the coconut curry also includes some chickpeas. So that's also a really nice touch. So I actually just want to try the curry and the rice first. It looks so 
looks so great. Mm. Mm. It is warm and thick and just melts. Very delicious and the seasoning and the spices isn't too powerful at all. So now I'm gonna try this chicken here. I might need some knife assistance. Da -da -da -da. Here we go. Okay, here we go. It's kind of hard to see because of the, the curry's covering everything. Okay, here we go. All right, ooh, there we go. Got a small piece here. Mmm, a little bit sweet, a little bit savory, but the meat is so moist, the chicken is so soft and liquidy, and it's just a really nice combination, so very delicious. Next, what we're trying is their fish and chips. I know, a little bit surprising. Wouldn't you think I would just order more jerk chicken? Um, while that could be the case, I'm actually a little bit sensitive to chicken, so I wanted to try something else, and so they only have fish and chips on their menu on Fridays. Today is Friday, and so of course I had to try it. And it just looks so golden and crispy here. You can actually see, um, they actually put some of the jerk like spices into the batter. So I'm really looking forward to tasting that. And it's this is just one piece, but it's like, as you can tell, look how big it is, um, which is great. I'm just gonna do some rip. Oh, that looks amazing. I'm gonna try it as is. It doesn't really taste fishy at all. Um, but yeah, the batter is actually so light and crispy. And the I wish it was a little bit more of that jerk spice in there. I didn't really taste a lot of it, but this is like solid. Scotia is at the Clucking Hen and Bakery. I'm um, just on the North Shore area of Nova Scotia on um, Cape Burton. And so there's a beautiful view outside and we have ordered a few items today. Um, one of them being the panini, smoked meat panini in particular. Um, and so this is on nice wheat bread, looking good. And actually has um, sauerkraut on the inside in a Honey Dijon mustard. Mm. Cheesy factor. This sandwich is a little too like, almost spicy or bitter for me, but it's still really good. It has a really unique and distinct flavor that I do enjoy, but I think it's all the right amount of ingredients. Like it's just enough cheese, just enough sauce, just enough meat. So well put together. I'm gonna try with the Lobster Club. It is uh, a beautiful story of a building. So you get a bread, and then you get a little bit of lobster, and then you get a sweet cheese. This is uh, our choice to put this cheese in it. And then the lobster, it's a bit cold, so I'm gonna try it. Oh, it's a regular cooked lobster. Then you get tomatoes. Oh, there's a little bit of cream, and then you have a little bit of salad stuff. And then surprisingly, you have bacon. That's nice. Let's see all of this, how it's gonna taste in my mouth. It's like a diner food. Tastes good. The bacon, chicken, the lobster, and the bread all together tastes really good. Keep coming. Nothing, nothing. Just turn right. Yeah, this way. And press the gas. Okay. 
I'll turn my side. Okay, come. While turning, move. Come hard, hard, turn hard. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Keep coming. Come, come, come. Good. Good. So, we were not able to go because it was bad. This car can't do that off-roading. So maybe we'll try one day. But for now we're gonna turn around and go to the other loop. All right, so we are here in a different waterfall. That's the background look like. It is beautiful, but the first one, it fell. There was so much of mosquitoes. Jeez. And we did so, not bring bug spray, so. No, no mosquito, any protection. So that beautiful. is so beautiful. And it was so easy to get to. Yeah. It's so easy to get to. You can drive if you have a four-wheel car. Yeah. Uh, it's, or even the car you can drive. We saw yeah, one car here, so. It's a Honda. Well, it's going to be muddy and sandy. But. But that is really tall. I don't know if you can see that, how tall it is. It's so but it's so worth it. And there's a small cave there. Yeah. Uh, and the water goes all the way down. Yeah. And there's actually a bridge at the end of the river. So the water goes down like this. And there's a bridge end of the way. This river, I believe it's called uh, Beluch. So yeah. look it up. It's awesome. All right. So look, where are we? So beautiful. It's so beautiful. It's a bit of a hike, but be careful. There are bears, wolves, wolves and moose, big ones. Yes. But look at that. And then show them this cliff area over here. These boulders look like like um, guardians or something, right? They're like yeah. protecting the nature. Very beautiful. This is like legit an emerald teal color. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna have some fun. There's some ducks. You see some dicks there, but ducks. sorry, ducks. But we're gonna have some photos and then we head on back to eat something. We have moved down south, and on our way, we stopped at New Glasgow, Nova Scotia, and here we are at the Sailor's Galley, which is known for their famous fish and chips. So that is what we are trying today. It's nice, these are two big pieces here of haddock. And what's really nice is that they actually have their own in-house batter that they make with this. So it's so far really light and airy. Ooh, it just easily rips off. Ooh, and it's very hot. It's, it was fresh, they made it like so fast. And so it also comes with, of course, a little bit of tartar sauce, oops, a little bit of tartar sauce and coleslaw. So I'm gonna go ahead and just take a rip of this. It might be too hot for me, so I'm actually gonna just oop, take a little, little piece. I'm gonna eat it as it is. Mm -mm. It's good and it's like, it's very good because it's it still tastes like the fish you're eating, but the batter is still light, airy, and crispy. And it wasn't, when I took the bite, it wasn't like seeping with oil or grease or anything like that. And it's also not like salty. It's very just as is, um, which is really nice and refreshing because sometimes you can get fish and chips and it feels like they oversalted or it's too greasy or oily, but this is just nicely well done. Now I'm gonna try it with the tartar sauce. I might honestly ask for more of this because I really enjoy tartar sauce. It's a good compliment, but again, you don't need it to enjoy the fish and chips. We are here in Halifax, 
Nova Scotia, Canada. Uh, it's near the beach. Mm -hmm. You can see that. Has a coast. They call it a beach, but actually, I don't know what is it. The water is. There's actually a big sign that says "Warning: Don't go inside the water." Yeah. It's not um, protected or tested at all. So. Yeah, that's because I think there's a harbor right there. So many of the, I would say, container ships yeah. comes and um, they can bring other sort of bacteria from other sort of places, from other countries, so mm -hmm. whatever is in the sea. So they do not test here or clean it up. It's what it is as it is. And yes. we're going to try out some attractions. We're going to drive from north to south and mm -hmm. then enjoy. Yeah, it's gonna be beautiful. We are trying a doner from Tony's famous doner and pizza, but they are known for their doners open since 1976 here in Halifax. Uh, what's interesting though, is that in 2015, Halifax claimed and named the doner as the like city's food. So this is apparently the number one place to get it. Uh, this is the large. What I've ordered today is the Doner large wrap. This is pretty big. It's thinner than a Chipotle burrito for reference, but I mean, everything in America is too big. So this is probably a proper large <laughs> to have. So I'm gonna unravel this. It's funny cause like in the pictures, it looks like an open wrap, but so far this looks like a burrito. All right, so after five years I've opened this wrap, uh, the donair, and you can actually tell what's interesting here is that the, don the donair is put on last, and on the inside of this wrap is tomatoes, you got onions, and there's special like white sauce, but you can't really see it because it's actually all la first layered in. So you can kind of, you can see their order of operations here. It's kind of a math joke. Okay, time to eat this. Now it's like a giant taco. So I'm just so surprised visually by this item because it was like, this is a wrap, like a cone. And then it was like, maybe it's a burrito. Now it's just a giant taco. So I guess I'm just gonna eat it this way, figure it out. The white sauce is amazing. It is perfectly sweet, but not too sweet. It complements the savoriness of the meat really nicely. Mm. The bread is thick, but not too thick. It's actually quite fluffy and soft, so it's really easy to eat. To be honest, I didn't get any tomato or onions in there yet. Again, I think it's more in the center, but I look forward to eating that. Definitely worth it. Inside is like homegrown, family style, local. We are here today in Daryl's restaurant in Halifax in Nava Scotia, 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 something like that. It's a beautiful, small local part of Canada. Uh, mostly the north part, uh, but we are here in trying out the number one burger. This is a peanut burger. It's not only good in this province, but also known to good in the whole Canada. So we asked for one. They were so nice enough to actually cut it in half and they gave us in two plates. So you can see a pickle here. You see the burger. You see the peanuts. I actually, I actually can see the peanut. That's interesting. Then you see some American style of bacon and then meat and then the bread again and then you can see some fries these fries are called Daryl's flies uh, I'm gonna try the fries first it is very different than what you used to eat at least the style of it so it's crunchy there's some sort of a seasoning there I'm not really sure what is it I like it I'm gonna put the pickle to the side this is how it looks like oh it's sort of a white bread uh, that's interesting I like it, and all the peanut is so bluish. It's stuck in your top of your mouth. I don't see anything special about it, but it tastes good, very unique, because I haven't had any sort of peanut sort of side of type of burgers, so I like it. If you're here, you can try this one out. I don't see anything special about it, but it tastes good. I like it, I enjoy it. We are here in Nova Scotia, going to St. John's, New, New, Brun New Brunswick. Alright, so we are here, not in a plane, 
another fairy that takes our cars. The car is inside. And this is how it looks like. And this is one part of it. Yeah, one part of it. We picked to sit here for no reason. The windows are bigger here. Beautiful. It's beautiful, so let's see how it's gonna go. you've watched this far don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button so that you can follow along on our venture with us